It is a day of celebration. These are Siama Ismail's people, the Nubians. And this is their culture. Siama loves promoting her traditions. <laughs> the stakes at this pageant are different. Contestants are competing for the chance to represent their people. Forty-three-year-old Siyama and thirty-five-year-old Kur Osman are the first people to be crowned the Nubian cultural ambassadors. I'm just carried away. You know, it's very, very exciting. It's ever the first ever, you know, titled uh, to be held by somebody from my community. I feel I'm greatly honored to be the cultural ambassador, and I really thank my community. The Nubians celebrate their heritage in colorful ways. The mouth-watering dishes, traditional Nubian artifacts, fashion, music, and dance. Their culture is threatened with the extinction because of the urban influence. And that's why we picked on them to do a cultural festival for them. They trace their roots to the banks of River Nile in Sudan bordering Egypt. Isa Abdul Faraj is the chairman of Nubian Council of Elders. He has been a champion of Nubian rights. We came in at the turn of uh, uh, around 1850 uh, as soldiers of the British Army. But we did not come voluntarily. We did not come as mercenaries or people looking for greener pastures. Upon the end of World War I, the Nubians were given land in Nairobi, Kenya's capital, a zone called Kibra, now commonly known as Kibera. Here, they settled and called it their new home. But today, Kibera is one of Kenya's largest slums, and according to the United Nations report, the largest in Africa. Despite being the original settlers in this once forested area, Nubians now make up only 15% of the population here. To reduce you to an entity, that is a threat to extinction. When your identity is taken away from you, that is a threat to extinction. So you develop mechanism for resilience. The main one for us is the culture, the distinct culture. We've been bombarded from left, right, and center. So survival instincts has brought us together. We are the most tightly knitted community, retaining our original culture for survival. Siyama, a mother of two, is a social worker. Together with colleagues from the Center for Rights, Education, and Awareness, CRUEL, they fight for victims of gender-based violence. She's been on the forefront to champion the women and the girl child rights. After a day of community service, Siyama finds solace in her family. The apple has not fallen far from the tree. Her mother was once awarded in 2005 as the Queen of Rogusu or Queen of Nubian Dance by Zidugua, an organization that promotes Nubian culture. Zidugua is a Nubian phrase meaning add strength. Sometimes accessibility to where I'm going. At times I have no funds. At times I, I act, I'm actually not employed by anybody. I just volunteer for different organizations. Siyama is not content with only being a social worker or cultural ambassador. I'm an artist by profession. I love theater. The name Siyama in Arabic means the first. She now acts as the first cultural ambassador ever of the Nubian culture. With a new title, Siyama will keep doing what she loves. 